This episode has been brought to you by JustInform.com. Peter Strzok was fired today from the FBI. He's gone. And just like that, he no longer had a job. Now, you may remember Peter Strzok because he was a lead investigator in the Hillary email scandal. He was also a lead investigator on the Robert Mueller investigation in the Russia collusion. Now, that was early going because he was suspended from that or removed from that assignment due to text messages, messages that were found between him and a woman, his side thing, Lisa Page. One of the most controversial messages of Peters that was found stated, we will stop him. Now, him is Trump. And what he would stop him from doing was becoming president. The question is, who is we? Now, what's also important to note here is that originally Strzok was going to be suspended. That was the ruling that came down, but FBI Deputy Director Bowditch overruled it and decided that Strzok should be stripped. Gone. Vamos. Finito. As, uh, as it's been reported, Strzok's lawyer says he may contest this firing and that the firing was unjust. Donald Trump, never at a loss for words, had a couple of things to say in the tweet. In fact, he sent out two tweets about Strzok. He said, one, Agent Peter Strzok was just fired from the FBI finally. This list of bad players in the FBI and DOJ gets bigger and longer and longer. Based on the fact that Strzok was in charge of the witch hunt, will it be dropped? It is a total hoax. No collusion, no obstruction. I just fight back. He didn't want to, then went on five minutes later, because I guess it got good to him, and Trump said this. Just fired Agent Strzok, formerly of the FBI, was in charge of the crooked Hillary Clinton sham investigation. It was a total fraud on the American people, or the American public, and should be properly redone. I doubt very highly that uh, the Hillary Clinton email investigation will ever come back again. Uh, this is just something that I think that Trump knows will rile up his base. And I doubt that Peter Strzok will get his job back as well. You know, Strzok was testifying in front of the House and Judici Judiciary Committee just a, just a month ago, I think it was. It was in July. And it was a very fiery uh, hearing. Strzok got loud and boisterous. But at the end of the day, I think it's this, and I think this is what matters. If you are an FBI agent and you're in charge of an investigation or you're leading an investigation and it is found that you have a bias towards the person that you are investigating, well, hell, who would want that guy on the investigation? I don't know if that means it should be kicked off of the FBI, but it does look horrible when you show bias and it becomes public. I wonder how many other agents have biases that we don't know about, which never see the light of day. Strzok should be gone because of the cloud of bias that hangs over his head. I think that all FBI agents and all people in government, all people in the intelligence community have some form of bias. They are people. That's what's wrong with our system, the biases of our systems. Some benefits, some don't. Did Hillary Clinton benefit from Peter Strzok being the lead investigator on her investigation about her email service? Did Trump get a bad shake by having Strzok, a guy who definitely was biased toward him, towards him, made no bones about not liking him and thinking him unfit for the office of president? Who knows? But it looked bad. So he's gone. Just as I was finishing editing this video, I realized that Peter Strzok has started a GoFundMe campaign. He's doing this to raise legal defense funds, it says. His goal amount is $150,000. So far, he's already raised $80,000. So that means Strzok isn't going away quietly, and you ain't seen the last of Strzok. For TBTV, I'm Tim Black.